Guys, welcome to Bishop. We are here in Inyo County. This county has the bragging rights of being between the highest peak in the lower 48 and the lowest peak in Death Valley. And we are in between Death Valley, the Telescope Peak, and the Sierras. It is so beautiful. It's a nature lover's dream, but there's so much more to nature here. Join us. We're going to show you all the tips. Bishop is a small town with a big backyard. It's located in the high desert, 4,000 feet in elevation. To get to Bishop, we take Highway 395, which is one of the most scenic roads in California. It parallels the Eastern Sierra. Welcome to the Wayfinder Bishop. You can see that this property is situated right on this beautiful river and it's so beautifully landscaped and behind us, Right there, you can see the tippity tops of the Sierra Nevada mountains. How inspiring is this landscape? The Wayfinder is the perfect retreat in Bishop. It's located right in the downtown and has a rustic feel. Scenes of hiking and ranching deck the walls. And now it's time to check out the rooms, which are comfortable and located alongside a natural creek. Here we wake up to the sounds of the babbling creek, which is so refreshing and rejuvenating. We're right alongside the creek and the rooms here. A lot of them overlook this beautiful creek and they light up the fireplaces at night. It's so beautiful, such a great way to get in touch with nature. So I also want to point out that the landscaping here is gorgeous. There's all these footbridges and little areas where you can sit along the creek. It's great. Well, we felt like we could stay at the hotel all day long, including dip into the sauna and the pool. It is time to continue our adventure and check out downtown Bishop. Hey guys, so one of our favorite things about the Wayfinder Hotel is that it is perfectly situated in the downtown, which is along this strip, and we're gonna go find some coffee. We're headed to Black Sheep Espresso Bar. I love all the art in here, and those local artists. Guys, we're at Black Sheep Coffee. Mike, what'd you get? I just got some local art and we're proud to support some local artists. It's done by local artist David Kirk. He's based in Independence, which is one of the next towns over. We're walking around downtown Bishop and we just got coffee. Now we're gonna head into Eastside Sports. Downtown Bishop is filled with a number of locally owned sporting goods stores where you can get all of your hiking and bouldering gear. Now that we have our coffee and our gear, it's time to hit the trails and explore Bishop's immense natural beauty. We're in the foothills right now. You can see the landscape just dramatically shift right before your eyes. Look at these alpine landscapes. We just went up into the mountains about 20 minutes. It is now a totally different weather pattern. It's raining. Bring a change of clothes. We are at the Cardinal Village Resort. This is the cutest little country store. Watch out for mountain lions. Oh my gosh, there is a Christmas room. Wow, we have entered Christmas. Christmas in May. Just as we were getting into the Christmas spirit, we heard a rumbling outside. We just heard some thunder, so it's time to get going. We're gonna go head to a lake. Welcome to Lake Sabrina. Oh my gosh, it looks like we're in a painting. Wow. Here we 
here at Lake Sabrina, we are transported into a winter wonderland. The lake perfectly reflects the mountain landscape. What's your favorite hiking trail in this region? Comment below. Wow, guys, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <sighs> you just want to breathe in that alpine air. Ah, it's so fresh. It's so crazy that the snow hasn't melted. This is what's causing all the rushing waters down by where we're staying. So behind us, these are the Sierra Nevada mountain range, and these are the highest peaks in the continental United States. Mount Whitney topping off at 14,505 feet. And Bishop is used for a base camp for Mount Whitney hikers. Descending from the alpine terrain to the high desert is nothing short of magical. We're at Mountain Rambler Brewery and I'm trying one of their award-winning brews. This is the Scottish Ale. Cheers. Cheers. Mountain Rambler Brewery is the perfect place to grab a brew and a bite to eat after coming down from the mountains. Hey guys, we're in Keogh's Hot Springs. They're famous for hot springs in this region and we're gonna go check it out right now. One of the coolest experiences literally on our trip was diving into the pure mineral waters at the hot springs. The water comes straight from the mountain. Super hot, so cool. This part's nice and cool, and then there's like a jacuzzi one down. Hey guys, we're at the East Side Guest House and we're gonna do beer yoga. This event was put on by Sierra Shanti Studio and incorporates the beer directly in the yoga practice. We sip, balance, and twist ourselves into a beer pretzel to a higher state of consciousness. Guys, it smells like barbecue. It's time to get our barbecue on. A stop in Bishop is not complete until you try the Holy Smoke Texas Barbecue. I'm trying the famous brisket here at Holy Look at Smoke. Look at this. It comes right off the bone. Mmm. So tender. You can taste the smoky flavor. So good. Next day, we drive over to the Mill Pond Recreational Area to prepare for the Bishop High Sierra Ultra Run, which is a fun course that goes through a bouldering area called the Buttermilks. The run also goes to benefit a great cause, which is the Inyo County Search and Rescue Team. Hey guys, welcome to Shatz. This is an iconic landmark here in Bishop. We make a pit stop at Shots for some edible take-home gifts, including cookies and bread. This sells out all the time. There's so many different types of cookies and breads. Hey guys, we're in Bishop, and right behind us is the Chamber of Commerce. We're at this beautiful park. This is the visitor center, and look, you can have a picnic here. The river goes right through here. This park smells like honeysuckle. We are riding with e-bike Bishop today. We just got our beautiful e-bikes, and we are taking the airport route, which is supposed to be super scenic. You can see the mountains right there. This is a great place to bike. So here you can see we have our speedometer and we have super fat tires that will get us through any of the sandy locations. 
and we downloaded an app called Ride with GPS, which had the route. So we're following that. We just stopped off right here, and I want you guys to listen. During our ride, we can hear just how alive this high desert environment is with different birds, animals, and critters. We reach speeds of about 15 miles per hour as we blast through different types of terrain, including sand. Guys, we had to stop our bikes because we came across a fresh hot spray. Look at that beautiful emerald and aqua color. And there's even a waterfall. Okay, so if you guys want to set up a tour like this, contact Nick at ebikebishop.com. He's got all the bikes, all different kinds, and he knows all about the trails. So he will deliver the bikes to you if you want to go on a certain trail around here. And there's some really beautiful trails. Mike's loving it. We would have never found that hot spring if it wasn't for being on this e-bike trail. So it truly is a great way to see some hidden gems around here. Found another beautiful spring. It's like these beautiful mermaid pools in the middle of the high desert. The Eastern Sierra is a geothermally active region, hence the number of thermal pools. And the locations are secret. Just riding by the highest peak in Death Valley. No big deal. An important animal in this region is the mule, known for its patience and stamina. It's a combination of a female horse and a donkey. They even celebrate this animal during an equestrian show called Mule Days, which is held on Memorial Day weekend. The mule is an important working animal in this region, from transporting borax in Death Valley to the gold in Northern California to modern day ranching, the mule helps make it possible. Driving through Bishop, you get a sense of wonder as the open plains stretch out before you. So far, we've shown you deserts, mountains, and thermal baths, but did you know that this region also has giant boulders? And we're going there right now. And the place is called Alabama Hills. We just took the Jeep on this trail. We're near Lone Pine and the Whitney Portal is here and there's some beautiful giant boulders everywhere. So rad. We hope that you enjoyed this trip to Bishop. We hope that you get out here and enjoy the nature, whether you're just passing through or staying as a base camp for your trips to the Sierras. Be sure to like and subscribe and visit the links down below for all of the destinations featured in this video. And thank you to Visit Bishop for all of your help in making this trip and video possible. We'll see you guys in the next one.